26-year-old Youth Corps member appointed commissioner in Kwara State. Uh, the Kwara State Governor, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, has appointed a 7, 26-year-old female Youth Corps member, Ms. Joanna Nazua Kolo, as a commissioner in the state. Kolo's name was among the four female commissioner nominees forwarded to the Kwara State House of Assembly by the governor yesterday. Now, this young lady um, will become the youngest commissioner nominee in the history of Kwara State. Uh, she is a 2018 graduate of library science from the Kwara State University. And if confirmed, of course, like I said earlier, she'll be the youngest uh, Nigerian commissioner taking the trophy from the Oyo State 27-year-old uh, Oluwashio Fakore Day. All right, now, I don't know about you, but this, this for me, yes, I like the fact that young people are being included, you know, in governance. But this is becoming more of a political uh, thing, if we're going by this trend. Okay. Yeah, we are in a political setting. Mm. I will be clamoring for you to use, I think, uh, um, uh, Governor Abdul Rashad of uh, Kwara State is uh, 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 follow him. The full step of uh, San Makire or Boyosi. Yeah. I think he's good. <laughs> okay. But the only problem I have is this. Who is this young lady in question? Mm -hmm. That one is one. What can she bring to the table? Was she nominated by a godfather? If yes, She's he capable to hold that particular position mm -hmm. and move the states to oh. the next level? Okay. If the answer is yes, yes, then I give it to yes. Okay. But what is important there is that, in fact, given four women in the history of other states, even when we want to take it from the time of Adamoata, we never have this rosy. I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good commendation mm -hmm. to Kwara State government. And I think that the better things will still come from that particular state. Okay. Yeah, uh, to me, it's a good development, but my worry is this. Okay. You don't buy experience from the market. Now you read it from the books. What happened during the 90s and the early 90s and the late 90s? What led to the collapse of most of the banks? inexperienced people were appointed oh. as managing directors and things like oh. that. So like you said, provided it is not somebody from somewhere is trying to play a fast one, maybe. Otherwise, I raise my hand for the, go the governor. Mm. But let the lady um, start to learn. Start to learn. You must start from somewhere. Okay. Mm. Let she be guided. Let the, let the portfolio given to her not be so... To overwhelming. Yes, yeah, so I that she will not okay. be... All right, Mr. Shepita. Well, I mean, I don't think one can question this too much. I think it's a good move. Mm. I think we need to see more and more yes, young, energetic. Well, you know, one thing that is synonymous with youth yes, is energy, energy and creativity. True. So, you know, yeah, there's a concern about who she is. So mm -hmm. I really wish that the government will would have put out more information about her pedigree because, you know, age is the number. Yes. There are people who are 26 and have achieved what Since they left secondary school, what yeah. some 50 years have not done. Mm. So age is a number. Mm. So really, it's about who this lady is. I wish we knew more. Okay. So we'll wait and see. The jury is still out on Sheon Fako yes. You know, we still, we're still watching to see how he will back We are. Us. Our eyes yeah. are on well, you like this. Our eyes are on you. <laughs> All right, but I do hope that other no state governors, you know, you will follow suit. Yes, no no stories. Stories. We don't want stories. Mm. So go we need to see more. You can do it with God or things are possible. Yeah. Well said.